Welcome to Saturday, folks. My name is Joel Duggan. If you have not figured that out, we are on the Citadel server where we are standing in the middle of the Western Square in the town of West Hill. But we're not going to stay here very long because uh, I'm out of food. <laughs> uh, I need to go get some more golden carrots and I need to take stock and see what other blocks we might want to get. So uh, good news if you've never seen the server before because we're going to be walking around and getting some stuff. Uh, looks like we're good for moss. I'd say we're good for acacia. We don't tend to use a lot of it. Jungle wood, we look good. Birch, we look good. Dark oak. I feel like I have dark oak here. We can top that up, but I might have to go get some more. I feel like the modern city is where we need to go for dark oak. Should we need it? And yes, it looks like we do. Do need to get some dark oak. Impromptu tour, yeah. Impromptu resource gathering and resource gathering in not the same way that you'd expect we're we don't actually have to go mine anything i don't think i think we just have to go find stuff so yes i'm gonna put dark oak on the list we do tend to use quite a lot of that so shopping list created dark oak added uh spruce we can just grow and chop that's fast enough that's fine i'm gonna add oak to the list I guess we'll just keep it all in our brains here. Dirt, don't need, don't need. Coarse dirt, grass. Refine for clay, fine for gravel. More than enough of those. Stone, we're good. Andesite, we're also good. We're in pretty good shape, actually. I might have to craft some more blocks. Cobbled deep slate. Cosmic, do you still have cobbled deep slate around? I think we might get some of that. There are not many carrots in Dartmouth Meadows. Try swinging by Somerville. There's a big carrot field that you can harvest from. Oh, cool. Thanks. Yeah, I will, I will check that out. I knew there wasn't very many carrots. I've got carrots here, so we might not, not have to go very far. Uh, I feel like we're going to want hay bales if we can get them. There's probably something that I'm not thinking of that I will forget about as well. String. I feel like we can turn wool into strings. That's not a big deal. Yeah. Not a big deal. That's a data pack. So there are some things that we can save ourselves time with. I think... Yeah, we have the ability to grow all this stuff, so that's not a big deal. And we're good for wool. Okay, so maybe I don't need to go as far as I thought. It's mostly just wood, it looks like. We've already gone and gathered a lot of terracotta. I feel like the other thing was more complicated, like we're at a campfires and stuff like that. What I would like is another shulker box. I guess I can take this one in and empty it out. Hey, Elkhorn is here. The mighty Elkhorn. How's it going? Good to see you, Stardust. Training guy. Hello. First time joining in a while. Yeah, it's been a been a minute. Hope you're doing well. It's that mini blocks. Come on in. Okay. 
take the free armor. Don't need that. Some of this stuff can just go away. Uh, beehives. Basically, I'm trying to free up a shulker. <laughs> trying to get this one to be empty. Tadpole Milk subscribing at tier one for 12 months. One year of supporting the content. Thank you ever so much. Rocking the Space Keystone badge now. Really appreciate the support. Thanks so much. Good to see you. These things we can put in other places. And I feel like, unfortunately, the diorite... I think we have spots over here for it. Yes. Now, I do have carrots here somewhere. Or I thought I did. Maybe I don't. Well, thanks, Tadpole Milk. I do. I did them myself. They need some updating. I need to create more for the people that have been around for more than a year. And I've got carpet goes there. Beehives go there. Stone goes. Oh. Um. Again, we just need more shulker boxes. That's on the list. I have a lot of gold. What I really should do is take the time to set up some villager somewhere that I can trade with for. Golden carrots, but the problem, of course, is that I don't have the emeralds. Cosmic wants a rainbow badge. Or two or three. Oh, yeah. No, I've, there's some um, people here. Cosmic's been here for four years as a subscriber and supporter and awesome moderator. And Elkhorn, you must have been... You two years, Elkhorn? At least. I know you've got the year badge, but, like, where where are you... In terms of the length of time you've been around. Part of the future? Yeah. Is anybody not hearing footsteps? Yeah. It's got me all spooked now that the audio is not working. I hear them now. I feel like the stone footsteps are a lot quieter than they used to be. Once upon a time we had a, a, a mod installed that had like ambient noises and stuff. But it was just so distracting the footsteps were constant. Like it would always change. Like every single thing you stepped on sounded different. So it sounded like you were walking across a xylophone when you were walking around your builds. You're listening to two streams, Cosmic? Jeez. My brain would just not be able to process either one. So we have carrots here that we can easily harvest if we wanted to. 
I just like the look of the full fields. There we go. So, carrots are done. Do we have... Oh, wow. Look at the acacia. We should take some of that, too. No to the spruce. No to the oak. Well, we've got some oak. That'll help. I try not to clean out everything because then, you know, when you come back to fix something, it's always really annoying when stuff isn't available. Uh, I feel like we can take some of those. Gotta remember to come here first next time I need something. Oh my gosh, look at all the stairs. I think this is where we took down the village and I had to store stuff. Take the ladders and the iron bars. Nothing else really grabs me. We'll take those. Actually, I guess I should leave that here. So really, it's just... I think Dark Oak is the big one. And my data pack is not working again. Why is that? I have to talk to other people on the server to find out whether they're having the problem. So all the tables and chairs now don't display. Is that the same across here? What would have changed? Because it was working the other day. We just did the blacksmith and everything in the blacksmith I thought looked fine. So that's the table. That's not tables and chairs. That is though, and that's working fine. It must be a different version of tables and chairs. That's too bad. That's disappointing when you can't upgrade a mod and have the existing stuff work with it. Anyway, Tin Mirren, hello. Good to see you. Good to see you. And uh, Ryan Lamp Table Chair. <laughs> That's an odd username. Welcome in. Thanks for saying hello. And an Eldritch Ostrich. Thanks for the follow. And uh, Elkhorn, I missed your reply. Whatever you said. I obviously got distracted. Play with purpose. Hello. Good morning. I had technically afternoon for me, but. It's funny, you know, like whenever I walk through this place, I think of all these cool things that I could do and things that I could build, but like I would be here forever. This zone is absolutely massive. It goes out far, far beyond this. It would just, it would be like your entire Minecraft life just working on this one thing. D&D &D the best. Thanks for the follow. 
been far too long since I've played D&D. So I guess we'll stop at the modern city first. That's probably the easiest way to, to try to collect some dark oak. I think there's a dark oak farm, if it's still there. We'll check the bank first. Really need to get off my butt and figure out some villager trades for blocks rather than having to hunt everything down. And that's not looking promising. What about oak? Also not good. Lots of spruce though. That beats that beats growing it. And I don't think I have any campfires here because there wouldn't be something I would use very much in the modern city. Some random stuff, man. It's been a while since we've been here. Nope. There's some hay bales. I guess I should keep that on the shopping list. Um, I think we're all good through here. So I will check upstairs at the penthouse. Dangerous. Last time we were here, we got blown up. Yeah, I agree. The two by two um, tree farm thing with uh, dark oak is a pain. Oh, there's a little bit of dark oak, but that's really meant for just repairs around here if I ever need them. What's in there? City backpack. I don't want to mess with that. Okay. Uh, I guess, hopefully, unfortunately, all the tables and chairs around here are not going to be displaying right either, which is annoying. So this whole town. This whole city might have to have some tables and chairs revamped, which is too bad. Aha! That looks like a dark oak farm to me. Sorry, not sorry, Cosmic. Did I bring a bed? I did. Yeah, the <laughs> the light levels in this place are not the best. Although it's better now because uh, the last time we were here, it was um, pre-119 or 118. So the lighting changes were, were uh, still the old light level 7 and above. We also didn't have scaffolding the last time we were building here. At least the dark oaks are dense and you don't have to like travel all over the place just to chop down one tree. I don't remember what the stone was for. I think there was a certain height that I wanted to keep 
the trees from growing to. I think I could harvest most of this from the ground, maybe? But I didn't have scaffolding at that time, so it wouldn't really make any sense. Now it wouldn't matter. The hard part, of course, is that these don't grow back because there's no one here loading the chunks. I'm going to chop this down too. Let's try it from the bottom. Yeah, that looks like the reason for the stone was to keep them at a certain height so that you didn't have to climb on anything to harvest the tree. So manual, but organized manual. I guess the problem, of course, is that because they're all touching you don't get the same amount of drops because the leaves don't decay quite as fast. Thirty minutes to find a dark oak forest? Yeah, I don't remember how long we looked for hours. I feel like it was pretty close by, but that was five years ago, so I don't I don't really remember. I find the lack of saplings that drop from Dark Oak very frustrating. He says as he turns around to look at six or eight of them on the ground, but I don't find them I don't find them very consistent. Does being here ever make you want to come back and build here? Oh, sure, all the time. I I need to take a break soon from the medieval place. Like I'm I'm starting to feel not frustrated, just it's hard to keep um like inspired and to try to do different stuff. So I end up I find I'm copying my own builds in the medieval area a lot, which I don't want to do. Oh, you just grew up right now. That's cool. Yeah, see, I still need four more saplings. How much is that? I think that's good enough. Got four stacks. So a couple deep slate and hay bales, I think, are the last things on the list. I just want to leave this with a proper number of saplings. I think that's got it. Sweet. And there's also a chest, I think, over here somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, there's saplings in here. Uh, but yeah, definitely the, well, one, the fact that this is such an incomplete build, you can see it's very hollow. Um, and anytime I think about doing anything technical, like a mob farm, I think, you know, I've got this great big empty space that we could fake and use as a mob farm. So this whole thing could be very cool. But unfortunately, like cool builds like this, like why? I don't know why these chairs are working okay, but then other chairs are not. It seems very strange. I don't think I did the inside of this one. No, that's just all empty. And I don't think I have any more storage around. The only other complete build here is my apartment here on the top floor. And no, it looks like 
some of the tables and chairs worked and some of them don't. This is actually pretty cool. I'm surprised I was able to get this to look the way that I want. I forgot how much time I spent in here. That's cool. Storm Dance, thanks so much for hanging out. Really appreciate you popping by. Have a good one. Yes, I believe you can put fortune on a hoe, Ryan. Um, I just haven't bothered with it. I don't tend to carry a hoe. My inventory is so full all the time anyway. Uh, I don't remember there being any hay bales in here. We're probably going to have to raid either my my barn or maybe um, the uh, greenhouse. CJ Williams subscribing at tier one for 12 months. Another person celebrating a full year. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Space Keystone Club. Uh, four, I'll leave that. Did I have any wheat? Only five. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be mostly at the farm. At the... Uh... Yeah. I miss having a speed beacon sometimes. I'm doing all right, CJ. Yeah, uh, it's been a long week, but you know, it's Saturday. It's It's been really hot here. Not to, we won't dwell in the weather. There's another heat wave. Humidity has been at 100%, between 89 and 100%. Temperatures around 37 Celsius. Figure that out from where you're from. I don't like to do this, but we're gonna steal some of these. See many hay bales that gets us. That's a half a stack. And I want to say the greenhouse is probably empty. The idea is that chest is supposed to fill up and then the greenhouse is supposed to take the overflow, but this whole area is never loaded anymore. So it doesn't get to fill up. No. Nothing. How about carrots? Also, there are six. <laughs> That's fine. Putting these chests down in the, in the floor was the worst idea I have ever had. <laughs> it's such a pain to try and grab them. If I ever do that again, I will not be doing that by dropping the chests down. I don't have any other storage here, so I guess we'll go... There's a bed probably nearby. Well, I've got a bed. I can just sleep whenever. Cosmic, did you say that there was cobble deep slate that I could borrow? At Somerville? If there's a bed in here, we're going to use that. There is. Pink! I guess. Do to do. Detour while I wash the pink off me. Hold on. Much better. Same place as last time on the top shelf? Cool. Thank you. Uh, we've had the same here. It's looking like today is going to be our first day under 100 Fahrenheit, 38 Celsius in several days. Yep, it's not fun. I just find it makes me tired. And I, and I, I shouldn't 
complain too loudly. I invested last year in a expensive air conditioner and uh, it's been on for four days. <laughs> um, I like it when I don't have to leave it on all the time. I prefer to like turn it off at night or um, do stuff like that. Like, you know, use it whenever I need it, need it. But it's just, it's better to turn it on early in the morning and keep the apartment from getting too hot rather than trying to cool down the apartment later when it's already become too hot. Kobalchi, yeah, it's um it's not the best. So this is Somerville for people that haven't been here. Cosmic Dancer is in the chat. This is Cosmic's area on the server. I'll fly you can see on the map just how how colorful it is. Like look at this. <laughs> Is this new, Cosmic? I feel like this is new since the last time I was here. I don't remember that being there. It looks great. But the Cobble Deep Slate is up here. Cobble Deep Slate. How much room do we have? None. So we're going to grab what we can. I feel like that should be enough for now. You get an egg. Another pink bed. How's the flower farm working out, Cosmic? Have you been using it? I'm curious. Last time we were here, we built this for Cosmic. Oh, there's some stuff in here. Well, maybe. I imagine you plant it as fast as you grow it. For folks that are wondering, there's flower farms down there. And that's a, like a fungus farm. Does all the nether stuff. You've used them all. Yeah, not surprising. Not surprising. Yeah, here, before I, before I go... Just so everybody has an idea of the amount of work that Cosmic has put into this play. I missed the tree. That was close. I almost died. Lots of holes in the tree, apparently. Not meant to be jumped on. All right, we'll do it from the sky cam. Just flowers everywhere. This is all new. Since last time I was here. Wow. That's Matcast's area. This is like a flower maze. It's really cool, isn't it, CJ? And there's more over this way, too. It's all like, um... Nether stuff, and... I like the coral gardens. The coral gardens are always my favorite. Although, I have to say, the double tall pink and red flowers are very effective at making it not look like Minecraft. If that makes any sense. There's a portal around here somewhere. Aha. The portal pit. Do, 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 do. Wrong way. I think we're good. I think that's the end of the shopping list, right? Yeah. <laughs> Portal potty? Oh, that would be hilarious. Wouldn't it be awesome in the modern city... If we had some sort of need for a portal or a fast travel button because we use command blocks and fast travel to get around to different zones on the server where a zone has like a specific style of build like the modern city or the medieval world 
um, we just use a button to transport players like 10, 15,000 blocks away from everybody else so that you don't have to worry about your castle having a skyscraper behind it, you know? Um, but uh, that would be very funny to put one of these little buttons inside of a porta potty. <laughs> right now it takes you to the visitor information center, which is fine, but I just, a porta, a porta potty portal would be fun. Say that seven times fast. I like walking this path. The other path, not so much. This one is fun, though. I always feel like I'm hiking. Yeah, I'm not hearing footsteps on anything but dirt. It's weird. <laughs> on the trail again. Yeah, exactly. You can see why I didn't want to rip up any of these um, vegetables along here, because I think it's just so effective. What I really wish I could do is create a couple of variants of the potatoes and have them just be random so that they weren't all exactly the same and make some like a little bit darker a little bit shorter i think that would be a lot nicer because i know that the flower pack that we have installed um from pump kate's i think it is and she's got variants on little flowers you can see them in the distance there and it's just one it's like it's either a single flower or it's a group of flowers. And it makes a huge difference. You can see them on the hill over there. The triple, triple poppies. Uh, Ryan, thank you. Yeah, the texturing on that path took a long time. It's fun. I really, I really enjoy it. It's fun. I like being able to run up it without any interruption, you know, like between a trapdoor, a slab, a dirt slab. For us, that's a custom um, petrified oak slab, but like having all that, those options really makes a big difference. Okay, so what I need to do is carrots and I'm getting low on gold again, which I don't like. And I guess I should put the deep slate away before I do this. B. Ramsey, subscribing at tier one for 16 months. Thanks so much, B. Ramsey. Really appreciate that. Cobble deep slate. There we go. Yeah, I feel like I'm wasting all of my gold on golden carrots when I should be trading with a farmer for golden carrots, you know? Do I need more rockets too? Just a refill. All right, so we're full on carrots again. That's good.
What's the plan for today? I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the roof on that other, that other building. Uh, I think I'm going to make it spruce. I've got some ideas on how to make it a little bit different, but yeah, I think mostly we're going to be fixing that. Spruce, so can move some of this stuff. Anybody else wish that you had like a little crafting table when you opened up a chest? I feel like that would be very handy. Uh, that can all go in here. Guess I didn't need the stairs, did I? Emails. Lots of those now, that's good. And iron and all this other stuff. last week off before you're back to school is it like going to school yourself or are you are you teaching i've always, it's always weird because the rest of the world goes back to school so much sooner than canada first day of school here isn't until like high school teacher okay uh that's very cool um, the first day of like high school here is it's like September, whatever the first Wednesday is after Labor Day. So it's like September 4th or something like that. Sixth sometimes. Depends on how the calendar lands. I mean, teachers go back before that, but students don't go back until after Labor Day. But I feel like in the U.S., I feel like in the U.S. and wherever uh, Kobalchi is from, uh, it's like mid-August or something. When's the last time I died in the server? Uh, recently. I don't remember. Creeper? I think it was. I think it was on stream. I think a creeper blew me up. All right, so I'm gonna want to work on this roof, and we're just gonna get up on some scaffolding here. So you guys go back in the middle, like last week of August. So I tried to do the gradient. It didn't really work. Uh, and I really don't like these chocolate bars on the top. So I think we're going to do is I'm going to try to change all of this to spruce, which may or may not work. And then I'm going to, I think if I can, I'm going to try and create this gable here and see what that looks like. It'll cut this in half, but I think it'll remove this mess here. And I think it'll be a little bit more, a little easier to read. So we're going to use strip spruce.
We're going to need spruce stairs and the slabs and full blocks and probably some signs. Nope. I want to do this. I don't know why it keeps on giving me new recipes every time I do that. Weird. Because it's certainly not the first time I've crafted spruce stairs, you know? And I was trying to think about what other... I think I can probably use oak, but use that for texture. I don't think I can get away with jungle. Let's put a ladder up the back here. I think this was the easiest way to get up. So I think what I want to do is I want to take out all of this here. These just, they're too repetitive. Okay, so this goes back at what kind of a step? It's in threes, right? Three, three, three. Okay. So if we do four, including this one here, so one, two, three, let's just do slabs. I completely forgot spruce trap doors, so someone else is surprised. Three, and then one, two, and then three. And that should line up with that there. Yeah, okay. I don't like the contrast between the dark oak trapdoors and the spruce planks. I find that the contrast is too light. It's too high. Um, and I don't like the re repeating pattern of the chocolate bar trapdoor. I've, I've debated for a very long time using a different texture, like using a custom texture on those. And I just, I just haven't been able to let myself do it. Uh, so what we're going to do is first off, go get the blocks that I forgot. Cause we're going to need some dark oak stairs, dark oak slabs, and probably some regular dark oak. And probably trap tours. How would I forget? I don't think there was any. I think that I had to craft them. That's why I forgot them. So previously what we were trying to do was draw a line from that gable to this gable. When really the gable should end up being here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse this like that. And then this is going to have to change. That might work okay that way. Uh, and then all of this is going to go to spruce. And I think this is going to drop down to be trapdoors.
right? So it'll eliminate the high contrast and keep things a little bit more, I don't know, we'll see. I also might want to do this, at which point maybe we keep this as slabs. What I like about this is that each one of these gables now comes into the middle of one of these three, these three bits. So we can actually change this and make it like a full block. Maybe even a, something like that. What textures and colors would you like to go with ideally on this roof? Uh, I want it to just be, I think a little bit less distracting. I think because I don't like the shape of it, I want it to be less contrasty because then you're gonna look at it less, you know? So that goes there, which means this is gonna have to go that way. That's what I want. Again, I feel like I'm using a lot of spruce in this town, but I feel like it's just, it's what works the best, even though I am feeling the repetition. This way. What I should do is bring that bed with me so I can just sleep on the roof when I need to. All right, so there's some blocks inside I want to get. Yeah, okay, that doesn't completely destroy the inside. Spruce fits well as a medieval block color. Yeah, no, absolutely. The other thing it does is um, we're in a taiga forest in this area, so like it kind of makes sense that they would be using the stuff that's immediately accessible to them, but I mean, I know it's Minecraft, and I can kind of make up reasons for whatever I want. But like already I feel better about it. Uh, now this bit here, I want to change this part. Don't remember what we did. I think we just did like a slab. And I don't remember the color of the roof there. Currently it's green. I imagine we'll probably use bone that part sweet sandy subscribed to tier one for 19 months in a row sweet sandy thank you so so much great to see you hope you're having a good day ah okay so that has to go like that And I feel like that works otherwise. That has to stay there. It's just that has to be figured out.
Yeah, so we might want to do... I might want to do something a little bit different on that corner. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to turn the stair upside down. And remove this. And then probably... As long as that doesn't change anything. Nope, okay. So then we can put a bone block... We might be able to put a bone block in all three of those places. It may not look good for the inside, but we'll try it for now. That might be visible from the other side, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And then this. Right. It looks okay by me out here. I'm curious what this is going to look like inside, though. Right. Weird bone block sitting there. And that's the stair. I think that's probably the best solution. Oh, thanks, Cosmic. I, I think that comes with what we were talking to last time, you know, in terms of like visualizing what I'm, what I, what I want to change about it. Um, and it's not that I, I can do it all just from my head. Like, I mean, as we've seen, I've had to, re I've had to chop down this roof. So I had to do it wrong at least once. Right. Sometimes it's the same with my art. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta get it wrong before you can get it right. At least with spruce, I can work in this oak texture here and there. So we now have this roof that is meant to kind of dip down between these two. And I don't know about this or what that was even there for. Apparently it was just part of the beam. You get to experience the getting it right part. Well, it happens from time to time. All right, so that stays like that. This all needs to change. We could also do stuff like this. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I like it. I like that. More signs. Break time when you're ready, says Cosmic. Thank you. I was just thinking that. I think I might actually like them a little bit better over the oak. 
heart. just so it's not exactly the same. Wish you could click on the sign and move the cursor around. So on one hand, the stripped spruce has some green in it and it goes really well with the green terracotta. So maybe, maybe I do need to get rid of those. I think perhaps that the spruce um, planks look best over the logs, but I think I prefer the stripped spruce. What do you folks think? What, do, what does chat think? Stripped, stripped spruce. I can still work in the, the, this, but maybe just like in the, in the corners where I can't put a sign on it, you know? The places that wouldn't get quite as weathered by the sun and the rain and all that. We were talking about that on the Spawn Chunks this week, about the decisions about where you put your details and the, the imaginary reasons you, you make up for it. If you're new to the chat, uh, as I think some of you may be, I take a break once an hour and it is that time. So I'm going to step away, refresh my coffee and uh, grab a drink and uh, we'll be back with more Minecraft in just a few minutes.
All right, let's get in here. I think I agree with you, CJ. I think I prefer the stripped spruce to be the most visible. So not a big deal. We can just swatch, swatch these out. It's, it's a little bit of a pain just because of this whole sign thing, but. Yep. That's fine. And then this one. Yeah, we'll do the same thing here. Uh, yeah, that's right. And then this stuff doesn't go there at all. I'll leave the skylight in for now. Because what, what really should happen here is this roof should go down and this roof should go down. Right, like that's what should happen. This should be just straight across. And they meet sort of here. And that has to stay, yeah. So then here, we could do I guess slabs. So this is the only tricky part where the two roofs actually connect. And really, I guess we can just come in here with slabs. I think that works. And do we like these, these things? I need to back up far enough to see. Uh, not a big fan of the, these blocks. So I think maybe what we'll do is try them with a regular spruce plank, or we could also potentially put like a trapdoor on them. Maybe what would be another thing we could do there? I guess we could just leave it flat. Or I guess we could try one of these. And <laughs> the backup and review platform is back, yeah. I think the flat one might be the easiest one. Uh because we can then differentiate this other ridge by having it go down into trapdoors. Yeah, I mean, it looks, it's a little bit more boring, but it's, it certainly doesn't stand out as a sore thumb as it did before. So I'm okay with that. Uh, we have to do the sign thing here.
planning on keeping those trees behind the build or adding extra in there? Uh, I'm not quite sure where you mean. I think I know what you mean. These ones? I think they're, the spirit of the tree is going to stay there, but I think we might customize the ones on the path. We might kind of trim them and make them look pretty good. I need to wait until we do this build before I figure out what's going to happen here because I don't know how far the courtyard or the property is going to extend for this one, so I don't quite know. And I'd like there to be some sort of functional path back there. I don't, I don't yet know what that's going to look like, though. Uh, I don't think that needs to be there. Everything out here looks good. I can't do a sign there. That's fine. And same thing over here. I think we fixed it. question of course is did we fix the inside okay so that that little bit has got to change we'll have to figure out what to do with that that doesn't look good vixen triple t or quadruple t thanks very much for the follow I can't leave it there. You think I would be able to, but I can't. Scaffolding is so helpful. Yep. I think it looks much better. Now, as far as what we've done to the inside, this did look good before. I don't want to mess with that. Um, so that's the space there. This is weird. That's the thing that we didn't like. That had to go. The only easy thing I can think of is just take that right down and then what's that the slab what's that from So that's underneath the second peak, I think, that bone block. So I think we can get rid of that. I think we can just go straight up with uh, regular spruce. And then all we have to worry about is that block, which I could probably use green terracotta and then trapdoor it from the outside. You really like the color of the roof before? I like using oak. I just wish it wasn't so high contrast with everything else. The other roof would have looked good if the trim was in spruce, I think. Lower contrast, right? Uh, green terracotta. So it looks a little bit funny.
but I don't know what else to do there. Sign. I was watching Scar uh, recently, and man, does he put a lot of detail into those that theme park build that he's doing on Hermitcraft. Like, he had signs everywhere, and he even showed off a really cool um, trick from, um, from B-dubs where th they used a glow ink frame and items inside the ink frame, to, uh, uh, frog lights to look like popcorn lighting, you know, from like a movie theater. It was very cool. But I'm wondering, like, if we put signs along here. Oh, we run into problems on the corners, though, right? We can't do it everywhere. I like that better, though. More signs required. I need to get better at this sort of thing, this this um, sub-block decoration, because what Scar did with his, it really added a lot to it. Oops. The amount of detail Scar adds in his builds is insane. I don't understand how he does it without looking over detailed he does a lot of really good color balancing and he his builds it's funny like overall his builds are huge but the individual pieces of them are usually quite small like the the 12 different facades that he had on the recent uh hermitcraft video the facades were barely some of them were barely five blocks wide like they're they're not big and so i feel like that kind of helps in the long run yeah i quite like i quite like that I almost want to see what it looks like with signs across like that. Not as good. That's fine. Actually, how would... No. Thought for a second that might look good. I would say we're missing a slab right there. Those trapdoors are on that space. So now I'm thinking about like, you know, because like the stuff that I saw Scar do was like this. Like all of his pillars had like that kind of level of detail on it. But then you can't put another sign in there, right? It looks cool, but it just... You know you run into you have to plan your build to to accommodate it however i do feel like we could probably get away with either some dark oak buttons or maybe some spruce buttons Thinking spruce. I'm actually debating this little dark oak slab. I wonder if it would look better as a spruce slab. Yeah, I think that does work better. Okay, cool. So 
Did we succeed in making the inside not look like hot garbage? I kind of want to cover that up a little bit. And what is this? Oh, that was a stair block? Yeah, that's weird. But that's part of keeping the roof looking good. It just creates a very strange thing here. What could we do outside to change that so I can make it look good inside and outside? Uh, Mythical Sausage is an online buddy. I haven't talked to him in a while, but um, Eli Mental, uh, I agree. Uh, Mythical Sausage does great stuff. We had Mythical Sausage on Spawn Chunks a while back for an interview. It was great because he's server mates with, uh, with Pixwares. For pe people that are new today, I haven't mentioned it. I, I co-host and produce the Spawn Chunks with Pixwares. That's me for folks that are, that are new and maybe recognizing my voice and going like, why do I know this person? Um, hadn't really noticed that before Cobalti. what are you what are you noticing oh the the small facade maybe oh cj borrow all you want oh the things with scars build yeah yeah i mean the, i mean i borrow all my ideas like from other other builders oh it was this one okay i thought it was one of these so those are fine. This one, that doesn't have to be a stair. I think I can get away with that as a slab. That might make things look okay inside. Certainly better. I would prefer it if this would also be something else. And then... That has to be sorted out as well. Yeah, that's a stair. I knew that was a stair. Right. Maybe the thing to do is just lower this altogether. I think that's probably about as good as we're going to get it uh, as far as the um, the balance of looking good inside and outside. I think it's pretty good. Like, we've, we've not done too bad. Okay, great. Happy when things work out. The roof is a maze. I agree. The roof is definitely a maze. I was hoping to do a little bit more in in this area like on the ridge here but i don't want to drop it down to be trapdoors at least i don't think no Yep, I think we just leave it. You can't really see it from anywhere else anyway. So, calling that done. 
It's just a lot of spruce. But it's a big build. Like it's not a not a small not a small roof. Matt can sixty nine. Thanks very much for the follow. All right, now here we might be able to get away with some fence posts and and things. I think that might be a fun detail. So we'll grab some spruce stuff like that. Don't need any of these. Fits in nicely with the other builds around it. Yeah, that's the thing. I felt like it was standing out too much. And that, that was one of the big things. My big reasons for my decision was to um, to change it. What have we done in the region for these things? We've got slabs and trapdoors. We've got fences and fence gates. I feel like fences and fence gates would probably be the best way to go. Slabs and trapdoors. I've done this in another build somewhere. Oh, maybe it's this one? Nope. Oh, this one here. Hold on. So fences and signs. Or fence gates and signs. So there's another cool idea with signs, right? Oh, there's another one too. So fence gates. Yeah, we haven't put any windows in either. If there was a window, where would I want the window? Probably like right there. Ah, so neither one of those work. Okay, so no window there. So I'm thinking fence and fence gate. And then probably either another fence gate or maybe a sign. I don't know, maybe we don't need anything up there. Oh, maybe a lantern. It might be a good spot to put a lantern. I guess we've got lanterns down here, though. I'm not sure if they're permanently staying there. Because we could also put like a street lamp. Actually, like on the corner. Yeah, it needs something up there. I think I like the trap door better. I think I like the trap door better. I'm wondering at that point if this would look better with a stair there. Yeah. See what I mean? How it would like over time you just kind of gradually reduce the amount of green that's happening. 
as you like layer different things. And so I find often when I'm building something like this, I'll think like, oh, there's a lot of green. I'm not sure if I like it. And then only later realize, well, I ended up covering up most of it. So it didn't matter. That plank still sits funny with me, but it has to stay there for the inside. All right, so we'll do that with the other gable as well. No, window on the inside didn't work out, unfortunately. Window did not work out. That goes there, and then we can just do the same thing over here. I do like it once you've established a design and then you, all you have to do is just repeat it in other places. I find that that's usually very satisfying. I guess a window might work here. Yeah, see, I'm not... Looks okay from the outside, but I'm not a big fan of how it looks on the inside. So I think we'll just leave it. We've got the window there. So it's not completely windowless upstairs. And then there's last a little bit here. I don't think we can do anything up there. I think the window is mostly going to take up all the space. Yeah. Okay. That's got, that's got some decorative stuff already going on. That's a little bit strange here. Are those the only two green pieces? I feel like we should maybe change those into spruce. Can't see them anyway, so yeah, we'll change those. Cool. So I think that helps considerably. We do have these buttons going on. I don't know. I'd have to sacrifice these lanterns. So I don't think I can put buttons over here. I think that's detailed enough. Still not crazy about having the, the lanterns. I might reduce the lanterns just to one. Like maybe having one there. I might have to look and see what the lighting situation is here. The leaning shield still catches your eye every time you pass it, Cosmic. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. I get a lot of compliments on that online. It's pretty fun. The only thing is like this is pretty uh, camouflaged with the stone behind it. So I might I might change these blocks. I think I threw them in there very quickly for the screenshot. And I think they have to be something else in order for that to to stand out. Like I feel like what needs to happen here maybe is more like a like a trapdoor wall or something. Something like that, so that you can see see that much clearer, you know what I mean? Okay, so that takes care of that. I don't have anything else that I'm seeing. Obviously, the wall and the path will have to be textured. And as Cosmic mentioned, the space back here is pretty un 
planned. So there's a path that kind of goes down to the river. Um, I, I would imagine we'll probably connect it up somehow. There might be, like, maybe there's a gate or something, like, you know, along here. Um, actually, let's just... Sure. Just for future Joel, make a gate there. Um, I'll show you why I'm so confused as to what's going on back here. Because this we've got this this retaining wall and this entrance, which will be fancier, and I'll obviously lead up to what will be the entrance here to a very large building. Right, you can see the foundation here, and the roof and the rafters and stuff. And it looks down over behind all that. So I don't know whether there's going to be... I'd imagine I'm probably going to build like a balcony or something out here. And then maybe a garden or something down here that they could walk down into. Because the other side of this is just like it's sheer... It goes very steeply down into the river. So that's not changing, I don't think. So I might put like a garden or something here. I mean, I know Cosmic won't complain about more flowers. And then... That means like I need to know what's happening here before I can build all the paths back here. So there's going to be some some fill that happens back here after I decide what's happening with this this big build, and then of course all of this will follow follow suit. Dan Grice, hello. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Good to see you. Sleep. Oh, I did. Okay, so that wraps up the outside of that. I don't think I'm going to mess around with the inside of it today. I'm, I'm more of in a mood to continue decorating and sorting out the the outsides of these builds and that that works so much better now uh the dark oak is just enough to make it stand out uh it doesn't it doesn't clash with anything it feels like it's a little bit close to this so whatever we do with this this is going to end up being i think more orange i don't think i'm going to go quite as loud as acacia stairs but i think we're going to have to do something here uh, this build could also end up being a little bit more oak heavy because there is this build behind it here, right? So we can have... I still do like the orange, so we we might try and do a different style here. I feel like this build might get... It might get a block taller. I I don't want to cut off the white there from that other tower behind it, but we can always make it a block taller and then dip the the, the roof a bit. I also think it might get larger. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I feel like we might bump that out to be a nice um, odd number to work with. Uh, and that would help with this a lot. Although, we'll see. It's got a cool shaped yard to it, so we can do some interesting stuff out here. For folks wondering, this is supposed to be a tannery. So like a leather, leather working shop. Um, obviously very temporary build because uh, it's currently our shulker monster inside. It's just, it's so central, right? Being right here in the middle of everything. So I guess the next thing to work on is gonna be to attempt to start working with the new blocks and uh, try to get this flower shop up and running. And I think I might try to plan the inside first and then see how I can push that to the outside. Because we've got this whole garden area back here that could be very useful as well. It is time for flowers, I think. It is time for flowers. I'm not sure about the muddy the muddy um roots. It looks good there, but unfortunately it doesn't look great on the inside. So we'll have to think about how we're going to plan this out. I don't think we're going to be using these. I feel like this is probably going to be more of a display box. 
than anything. I see more like two tall flowers here. But then we'll have to figure out how to cover them up. Can you plant flowers on muddy roots? I don't know if you can. Cosmic Dancer has set up a monthly tip via Streamlabs. Happy one year of monthly do donations. Thank you very much, Cosmic. That's amazing. Such a cool thing that you can do with Streamlabs for folks wondering. If Twitch isn't your, your mode of support and you want to just do like a Streamlabs thing or, or if Patreon isn't your bag, then you can always try a, a Streamlabs um, renewing donation. And what's cool is that Streamlabs gives you the um, the option to uh, ring the notification in chat. So if it renews on a day where you're not here or I'm not live, then the next time you come back, then it'll give you a little opportunity to um, to renew that. These are directional too, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what the best course is here. I don't think leaving it wide open like that is great. I feel like there should probably be some sort of... Some sort of wall, maybe? I thought this kind of looked like dirty, dirty spruce wood. But then this doesn't really feel like it makes sense, does it? Okay, well, uh, I guess do we, we should probably start to loosely plan out where we want the flowers to be. Yeah, I didn't know you could plant flowers on the mud blocks either. That's really cool. I don't know if I like them showing up outside like that. So I'll have to figure out what the landscaping is going to be out here. Um, it might be better to bring the road up a little bit taller here. Like, get get rid of this little notch and have this go over this way. And... I guess the important thing is we should figure out what's happening with the inside and if... So we don't have an upstairs yet. I'd say we'd have to have some sort of like flower desk and I'm assuming that this would be along here. Cosmic Dancer with 2000 bits. Holy smokes. For those about to plant flowers, we salute you. Nice. <laughs> For anybody that's new, Cosmic is a flower fan. So I guess that could be the counter. And then I guess we can just fit like I'm going to just start throwing down random things here. Let's use green terracotta just as a marker. So like flower pot, flower pot. Like maybe shelves with flowers and then flower there. That seems kind of crowded, so maybe not there. 
And then maybe we can hang some flowers. Or we could have vines. Coming down from the roof. And maybe more vines like back there or something. That could be kind of cool. I'm trying to think fantasy and not like so literal with everything. Uh, and I guess... Yeah, then we'd have to... I guess we don't have anything behind there. Because this doesn't... I mean, some of these don't have to be flowers. Like, this could be like a bucket of fertilizer or something. Or we could have something like that back here, too. That's cool. I like the L shape. It looks like Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, it will. It more than likely will. So yeah, like stuff like we could have some now that all this won't be bushes, like we could hang a plant, you know, like we could do like a hanging bush or something. Um I think that's the important stuff. And then we also want to think about the rafters, and to do that I'll have to finish the roof. The roof is not gonna get any taller. I think the only thing we have to think about in the roof is it's going to look pretty boring if we leave it the way that it is. One, two, three, four, five. So we could put like a window there. That's only four. We could angle this back out a little bit, but I kind of like the way that it in kind of invites you down the alleyway. I also think that we can do something like a a door here, right? So that it can block off access. Yeah. And then I guess we'll have to work on whatever the dormer is going to be. So we're going to drop some spruce. We'll pick up some jungle and some uh, some mangrove wood. I uh, don't need any of these right now. Keep some of the spruce on me. And I'll put that away for now. This is remarkably organized for uh, for as chaotic as it looks. Chaotic as it looks. Uh, thanks. Yeah, I color code most of my shulker boxes. I color code most of my shulker boxes. So I'm thinking we maybe want to put in some sort of window here. At which point. I guess we should use whatever we've got going on down the bottom. And that looks to be stripped dark oak. That'll bring a little bit of um, darkness up into the roof. We may, we may want to go with mangrove. We'll try both. Not humo. Hello. Welcome in. There's that, or there's this. I actually don't mind the mangrove.
Oh wait, it'll be here. Are those too tall, maybe? I guess it would give us a good excuse to put some mangrove trapdoors down. This is one of those things where, like, it's a new block. There are new... new colors to consider. There's gonna be a lot of trial and error, I think. I don't think we're going to need slabs and stairs, but we'll see. Would a glowberry vine thing... Oh, yeah. Um, glow, glowberry vines uh, would work well in the flower shop. For sure. Because that would take care of our lighting, too, right? That'd be a great idea. Wait a minute. This is going to be mangrove wood. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe the bark blocks don't look as good as I thought. Do we have anything that's like this kind of reddish but darker than mangrove? I don't really remember. Don't think this is darker. No, it's lighter. I'll keep it on me just because that might actually work, but um, do we have anything? I feel like warped wood is too, like, too purple. That's going to have stuff on all the different sides of it. Uh, that was a coral block, but that's not going to work. Red nether brick might work, and nether wart block might work. Don't know if I even have nether wart block. Nope. Uh, I don't have any red nether brick in here either. Oh, there it is there. Oh, there we go. Nether wart block. And red nether brick. Red sandstone is probably too orange, I would think. Yeah.
I'm thinking this is probably going to be okay. It might be a little bit loud on the texture side, but... Eh, it's very bright. I'm assuming red nether brick are also going to be very bright. It's better. It's not exactly what I was hoping for. No, that doesn't work at all. Maybe I've got to go the other direction. Maybe I've got to go towards jungle. More break time when you're ready. Thank you, Cosmic. Appreciate that. Uh, jungle. I think we're probably going to be sticking with the um, sticking with the uh, stripped mangrove. Still getting used to like having the new block names just like roll off my tongue. I don't find I uh, have them quite memorized. Need to go get some more stairs. Well, we should take the break, um, and then I'll think about what we're going, you know, what we're going to be doing with this roof, and uh, we'll be right back. For folks new, uh, I take a break once an hour. It's that time. Grab yourself a drink, refresh your water, get a snack, grab a friend, and we'll be right back.
I don't think we're going to need the bricks. I don't see those working out very well. Uh, I think we'll ditch dark oak. Really hard to narrow it down. I guess we don't need the signs. Yeah. The Oakley916, thanks very much for the follow. And uh, Liliusia, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Thanks for coming in. I don't know if I've made that too big. Maybe that's fine. Maybe this should be a slab instead. That's sort of a bell shape to it. I don't really have a plan here. I'm just kind of seeing seeing what works and what doesn't. Thank you, Cosmic. Appreciate that. All right, so we'll put in... First, I'm going to fall down. Mix screw gun. I don't think he's here. That. Why does that... Okay. Sure. Do we like that? Or do we think... Stairs are better. I kind of want to go all the way down to the to match up with the um, the eaves here. Like, what if we did this? That's kind of interesting. Because then we could remove this part. I kind of like that. It's going to take some, some fiddling around. Shows off a little bit more of the crimson behind it, which is nice. We might not be able to use those trap doors there, though. We might have to then put something here so this doesn't look so funky. I guess we could try jungle trap doors. That'll add a little bit of, of texture to the outside. That's not so so bright. <laughs> it just wouldn't be me if I didn't put spruce trap doors in. They may not stay. I just didn't have anything else on me. Now, these are always funky. Right, okay, we're going to place them that way. And then... Yeah. See, they have, they've got holes in them, so that's part of the problem. It has to look more decorative rather than... Ooh, that could work if I flip them around.
That's got kind of a fun change to it. It makes it very heavy on the jungle wood, unfortunately. There's a lot less mangrove happening. What is that? Is that jungle planks? Oh, it's a sign. How can we get this to be heavier on the mangrove? I guess we don't have to do one of these in every... Like, I was going to do another one over here, but maybe we don't do two of these. Maybe we just do the one. Because I think the other side is blocked by the other roof. Oh, no. There's, there's room to do stuff over here, too. Yeah, the jungle trapdoors look good. I think maybe they overkill on those. So we take those out. Now this feels a little bit busy. But we could change that easy enough. Like this could easily be switched here. Something a little bit softer. Or maybe it just stays dark. Yeah, I like that better. Don't know about this though. It does feel like it needs something. Don't know if this is a good idea. No, oh, too much, too much peach. Yeah, I think I like it better without this extra little tap on it. Oh, wait a minute. That's the that's the edge. So we'll do that. Hmm, maybe I can get rid of this. I feel like I want this to come down farther. Yeah, and then maybe put this that way. This section is going to be tough because it's a it's a only a four wide. Yeah, that works. I almost want to run a ridge of of um, jungle like up the side here, but I feel that's going to ruin what we've got going on with so much nice mangrove wood. Useful bench, good to see you. I 
For some reason, the shape on the jungle trap door reminds me of a flower. Oh, does it? Oh, totally. Yeah, I see that. I'm a panda92. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Went the wrong way. All right, I'd say that's a decent start. Uh, I like the, the, I feel like the jungle or the mangrove planks are kind of growing on me. So I'd like to try and work them in. I'm curious if we can work in a gradient somewhere. So we have this red terracotta and I'm just, I'm just wondering on some spots You know, if we can get away with it. It's a little bit, a little bit harsh. It's close. If I had a, if it was a bigger build, we might be able to get away with it. That and all of our, our textures are going the wrong way. Yeah, it's all right. We'll, um, re we'll remember that for another day. Okay, well, I think we can maybe put in some planks along here we can remove that and maybe put a plank there and i'm thinking like you know two planks here so many things in the inventory Yeah, that actually works quite well. I like that the the signs cover up the dark lines in the planks and it helps them blend in a little bit better. I was gonna try to speckle this around, but I think it might be worth it just to go straight across with these. And inside, it might be worth changing them into stairs. I would say yes. Working on a project in Blender, that's cool. It's been a long time since I've done any 3D stuff. I think the last 3D modeling I did was block bench for some Minecraft data packs. Now here we can just go straight planks, that's fine. We're probably going to put details on these, but for now, we'll just leave them. I'm tempted to change the roof to mangrove trapdoors up here. Just to see what that looks like. Yep, I think I like that better. Nice, it, it echoes the top here, there. I like having a little bit of a dark rim up there and I think it, the, the jungle wood is a little bit too distracting.
So we can't do the signs around the corner here. So we'll have to come up with something more interesting for that spot. And we'll have to be careful here as well. Maybe we can do a different situation here. Jungle signs. It's always something. Yeah, the planks and the 3D texture uh, really help. I, I'm kind of embarrassed how long it's taken me to use signs in this way, you know? This is like the fourth or fifth time it rained in the stream today. I think a couple times it was on break. I don't want to bother with all the details right now with the sign numbers or the text because um, it's uh, it's something I might potentially break when I'm finishing the inside, so I don't want to mess around with it too much. So what could we do there? There's really not much that can be done. It just sort of looks like it doesn't doesn't continue. And this feels very strange. I wonder if we could get away with putting stairs and having the roof dip a little bit there. It would do two things. It might soften this corner. It's also going to let us see more of the yellow tower when we come down the road. This may look horrible, but we'll see. You know, I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. I'm tempted to see what this looks like as a jungle plank. Hmm, not the best. So we're gonna have to make do, I guess. If I really wanted to get into it, I might be able to make it work with the armor stand, but... Is that dip too abrupt? Could we... Could we back that up? And do like slabs and stairs? It might help with um, the profile a bit of the roof. Uh, any tips for using knowing how to use signs? Um, I think using them to kind of blend things together is a good way to do it. Uh, where's a good example? I thought this was really effective. So there's enough of the light color of the signs in the brown concrete powder that they match, but that's brown concrete powder and jungle signs. And from a distance, it just reads as like a different color roof that we've not been able to do before. Uh, and then over here, we've got spruce signs over strip spruce. And it just kind of gives a different texture so that it doesn't look like more of this just all through there. You know?
So yeah, I'd say use signs that have the right kind of contrast to them. Or like we did at the beginning of the stream, I'm not sure if you saw it, but here helps kind of with the layered bit where like the strip spruce has green in it. So it helps with the green in the building and the green in the strip spruce. You know, now that I look at these, I don't know if I like the oak there. But it helps the strip spruce feel like it's more part of the planks, I guess. We don't have mossy planks, otherwise that would be perfect, right? Yeah, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try changing this a little bit. First I'm gonna go up a little bit higher. So what if we did this there? It feels, still feels kind of abrupt. I wonder if I can do something with the trapdoor. Because I do like the trapdoor. But if I get rid of this one and this one. Feels a little bit more natural. Maybe it just needs to be a slab. Yeah, I wanted, it's, I just kind of a last minute, like fly by the seat of your pants decision to be like, oh, if I created a dip there, we'd end up seeing more of the cool tower behind it. Creates an interesting shape too. Because we've got so many like, you know, straight roof, straight roof, straight roof. And this is nice. A little bit of a, a little bit of a dip. Is this straight? See, this has got an interesting profile to it, right? So straight roof there. Because we have the advantage of using slabs and stairs with this wood, I feel like we are missing out if we don't do it. I just really wish I could put a jungle um, sign right there. All right, I think these trap doors are gonna go. I don't think I want to put more signs there. I think we tried that last time and it didn't quite look very good. No. Makes the other ones not feel as special. We could try stairs here, but I don't think it's gonna look very good. It's not bad. Yeah, I kind of like the planks better. I kind of like the planks better. Nice, Elcord. Appreciate you rushing to my defense. So I feel like we do this, then we have to change this one as well. 
And I think this is going to face the other way. Oh, it can't. Or I guess it can. I can just put a stair there. Why is that sticking out that far? Oh, right. Okay, no, no. I might have to go inside to fix this so that it looks right. So we could have another window there if we wanted to try and push it, but I don't know. It might solve that problem. If we had like a little window there. <laughs> Cosmic's a slow amble to your defense. Nice. Oh, that's funny. So, like, what if we had another little window here? I feel like I did a little window somewhere else, and I'm struggling to remember how I did it. I don't mind that, but I'd like it to be smaller. Where did we do that? I feel like it might have been over in Lowtown. I feel like it was something like this, but I don't remember where. Does anybody else remember where I might have put a little window? That's sort of it. Maybe it was one of these. Ah, you need to make screenshots in a Pinterest board? Actually, that's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Where did I do that? It's the problem with working on this for like over a year. Oh, that's a little window. That's sort of what I was thinking about. I feel like I've done it somewhere else though. Tight spaces back here. Okay, it wasn't here. Where the heck was it? It was recent. Oh, maybe it was... Those are sort of little windows. I feel like I wasn't using stairs though. Like I feel like I was using trapdoors on the sides. Uh, thanks very much, Hermione. I think that's how you say your name. 5096, thanks. Appreciate you coming in. Maybe it was down here. I really don't remember. Everything seems to be pretty standard window size. Set it right. Awesome. 
I have not read the Harry Potter books, but I've seen enough in print <laughs> that that uh, I caught that one. Where did I do a little window like that? Maybe it was over on the other side by the market. All right, we've got a light drive. It'll just take a second to go check. Or maybe the barracks? I really don't know. Outcast 01. Thanks very much for bringing your people by. We're looking for tiny windows examples, and I can't seem to remember where I built a tiny window that I enjoyed. I know I did it. It's not those. These are not even finished. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. I guess it's a really good example of what we were talking about on the spawn chunks last time, which is, you know, finding, like putting detail in. And I obviously spent time to, you know, design this window and install it somewhere, but it's so unimportant that I can't find it. <laughs> It's like it's obviously not in a in a spot where I can see it easily, right? I was thinking the market. Yeah, I thought that too. But these are all pretty standard windows. Like there's nothing here that's too I'm wondering if it's the the house on the main street that I walked by. Like everything here is pretty basic, right? Like I feel like the market was kind of like when I was starting to get better at building in the medieval styles and, and trying to find my art direction for this town. But then now, now I feel like things are a lot different. I think it's these that I'm thinking of. And so, I don't exactly know how this would work. So what I was thinking about was trying to make this even smaller by using like trapdoors or something. But that doesn't really work. Does these look good if we switch them around? Oh, and if we do that, then we can't have a trap door there because, well, I guess we could. Just trying to keep consistent with the design. I feel like that might look better with a slab, even though Oh, thanks, Cosmic. Um, no, I think I'm just going to... We'll kind of wrap this up as I finish up this roof. I think I've got a good idea about how to finish it and make it look good. So 
So then we just have to connect this here. I've lost most of these signs, unfortunately. That's a strange thing to have happen. I mean, I'll take it, but it's weird. Oh, there's a stair. That's what it is. Right. See, all of a sudden it gets too big, right? When you do that, it gets too big. Hmm. Maybe we just leave it. No, it feels like it's floating. Oh, that's frustrating because I, I do quite, I quite like the idea. What if these are slabs? So that it really doesn't look like it needs any support. The Mazurk, hello. Yeah, I don't know. That's kind of pushing your luck in terms of what it even looks like. I think it was a nice idea, but I'd rather I'd rather go back to where it was. Worth a shot. There still needs to be something up there though. It's pretty plain. They sort of look like clamshells as well. Yeah, I don't know. Nothing is really, really jiving for me. Pink concrete. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me. Do we still have, yeah, we still have the red terracotta on us. Can we now weasel this in, in here? No. Okay, I think that's probably about as far as we're going to be able to get with it. Uh, there's a chance I could try some buttons. But I don't know if that's going to overpower things. Um, is there anything formulaic you can do for getting a good roof, or is it just sort of whittling away? I would say there's definitely a few things you can try. There's a few standard sort of like, um, scales, like going up in like, going up in twos instead of ones. So like there's two blocks and then two blocks rather than just like evenly going. Um, I like it if you've got enough room and you can do something like this, where you can start off with going three and then two and then one. I find that that gives you more interesting stuff to work with and more room to texture things along the side, if that makes sense. Because if, if we go around here, you'll see we have a lot more room on the side of this to fit in like the extra basalt texture in places. And so at first it feels like a lot of the same block, but you can change it quite easily. 
Um, but yeah, I would say anytime you can break any kind of like normal stair 45 degree angle, I mean, sometimes you have to, but even here, like, you know, one, two, three, and then I just popped up by one and it just kind of helps you with a little bit of a gradient, a little bit of a, of a, of an arc. Um, same thing here. I mean, I've, the formula that I have so far that seems to help roofs read well in Minecraft is to have a block along the edge of the, of the eave. And that block usually is the same around, along the ridge and then have a different block on the inside. And it, it, I feel like I've done it a little bit maybe too much here. Um, that's why I'm looking forward to making this feel more unique. But, I mean, sometimes you can just go straight, you know, straight blocks. Always forward, Cosmic, never backwards. So there is a slim chance um, that these buttons are going to look good, but we'll see. Uh, Robin WSC wants to know if I've ever had any interest in shaders. Yeah, I like them, but my computer can't play with them. I have a frame rate issue at no matter what, so turning shaders on just makes things feel even slower. That is far too much. It would be cool again if it was a bigger roof and we could repeat that like three or four times, then it would look really cool, right? You know, I guess we could try. But I don't know. Yeah, it just starts to get noisy at that point, right? Yeah, I think that's that's pretty solid. Uh, I wonder if we can just not use these signs here. You can barely see them. I don't know, it feels kind of strange. It's like looks good, or it looks strange with, but it looks worse without. And I think maybe if we got rid of that stair, it might also help. Oh, I never thought about mixing mangrove and netherrack. That'd be good if I had a bigger roof. I'm curious now. Oh yeah. I can sort of see it. It's got the weird texture. It's the right color. You could maybe even make mangrove wood look like refined netherrack stuff. Some of our nether builds would be really, um, I think, complemented by mangrove wood. I've not built in the nether in ages, so I haven't thought about it. I think I might try and change this one set of blocks to all stripped and see what that looks like.
Yep, I like that better. Um, some of my first streams were here were you in the nether for weeks on end. Oh man, what was I working on? Was it the um was it the wither skeleton farm? Okay, so that is that's interesting. Probably have to do something like that there. First stream here was building the what um the wheat field and in on a bridge. Oh wow, that is you'd have to I mean like we know that it was four years ago, but I'd have to look up when that VOD was made. Because that's a YouTube video. That's so long ago I was still making edited YouTube YouTube videos. All the tunnels. Oh interesting. I was working on the the nether tunnels. Huh. All right. I think that goes there. That sort of looks like a nice little window. We'll put something up there. Probably. Imagine it'll be one of these. And. More than likely from the outside. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Is that going to be too much from out here? Uh, it's a little repetitive. We're probably going to use a different trapdoor. That's fine. So this is all going to be green foliage and stuff. I feel like I might want to drop the roof down just a little bit so that we can have stuff hang from it. It does get challenging along here though. Because those are outside blocks. So we'll see how I want to handle that. Because normally what I do is I put like rafters in, put like a some sort of like support going across here and there. So we'll see what we can come up with, but that's going to happen next time. Uh, and next time, of course, we'll also do the garden out back and the inside here. For folks that are joining later, this is a flower shop or will be a flower shop. Uh, obviously, this is all going to be revamped. We'll have probably more greenery around the outside here as well. And I'm not sure about the muddy mangrove roots. They look cool on the sides, but of course, because of the scale, you've got them on the inside. And I think it might work for that wall, but I think everywhere else I'll want to move them. Although here, like again, it looks good there and we can just easily, you know, cover it up like that. And if these are all like plant things, then like you'd never know. So that's cool. Um, anyway, I, I'm happy with the progress there. We'll copy what we did on the other side as far as textures and signs and stuff like that and put that up here. Uh, that's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, same, same bad. Well, not same bad time. I usually stream at one o'clock. So the plan tomorrow is, is to do the same possible time. I might start early if it's hot again, uh, but we'll see. But that was pretty good. You know, like I, I quite like the way that this is coming together. And of course, the big thing we did today was fix the roof um, for this place here. This is now all spruce instead of, instead of uh, oak. So it's a much um, simpler looking, lower contrast roof now and we change the lines of it and I feel like it's it's less smacking you in your face and uh, has a little bit more detail although you're never going to find a place to see it unless you get high enough around here there we go I think that works better than what we had before previously we had this line connecting with here and I put in this extra half gable and I think that that keeps it a little bit nicer so yeah anyway folks thanks very much for hanging out uh, we're going to raid tadpole milk 
So don't go anywhere. And uh, by all uh, um, by all means, uh, you know, leave a follow there when you get there. Uh, hang around, be kind, all that kind of stuff. Always nice to spread uh, the Minecraft fun. And uh, thank you for being awesome. I really appreciate all that you do. It's another month, which means that uh, I get to do this for a living. So it's because of you I get to do it. And uh, I really appreciate it. Thanks, Cosmic, for the modding. Uh, thanks for all the regulars. Always fun to hang out with the, the regular crew. And if you're new, uh, check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It's probably the most affordable way to get into the Discord, which is where we all hang out uh, in between streams. Uh, don't forget to listen to the Sizzle Cafe. That's brand new this Thursday. And the Spawn Chunks was brand new on Monday. Two podcasts that I do, totally free. The Sizzle Cafe is about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. We talked about Marvel news coming out of San Diego Comic-Con. And this past week on the... Uh, Spawn Chunks, we talked about details in Minecraft builds as well as the release of 119.1. That's it for me, folks. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.